Hello wonderful people, your friend Florin here. In this tutorial we're going to build a winter themed project. We're going to create a snowflake and then we're going to multiply it and we're going to animate it on the screen and create this snowing effect. So let's make it snow. Okay. So now we have a new CodePen project. First, let's create one snowflake. And we're going to do that by using the Font Awesome library. So let's import it Font Awesome. And now we can add classes to an i tag. So FAS and FA snowflake. And we can see that one snowflake appeared on the screen. Let's make this snowflake white and the background the blue color. So the background of the body, background will be 323, 975. And for the FA snowflake, we'll have a color of white, like that. So now we have the white snowflake on the screen. In order to animate it from the top to the bottom, we're going to need to position it absolute and give it a top position of minus 20 pixels. Initially it will be off screen. And then we're going to add an animation. Let's call it fall. We'll make it linear and forwards because we want the animation to stop here at the bottom. So let's define the animation. Keyframes, fall. It will start from the top minus 20 pixels and it will go to transform translate y 105 viewport heights so it will go all the way down here to the bottom the reason we can't see the animation yet is because we don't have animation duration let's set it for now but this will be dynamically added in the javascript oh so look the snowflake is falling Three seconds. Let's make it ten seconds. It's very slow. So this is working. We have one snowflake which is falling. What we want to do now is to use JavaScript to dynamically create a snowflake every 100 milliseconds, for example, and position them differently on uh, on the screen. As you can see here, we haven't defined the left positioning, so that also we're going to define in the JavaScript. So let's do that. Let's create dynamically snowflakes. We'll have a function create snowflake, which we're going to create a snowflake and add it to the body. So let's do that. const snowflake document create element, and it's an i element. Like that. And we want to append it to the body. So body append child no flake. And also we want to add the classes so the font will appear. Font and the icon. No flake class list add FAS and also we want the FA snowflake. No flake. Like that. And now if we remove the animation and the absolute positioning and if we call this function we should see another snowflake appearing on the screen. Oops, then child is not string. And also we have document body, not body. Sorry, my mistake. Okay. So now we have two snowflakes. Let's make more. Seven snowflakes. You can see they appear right next to each other. So we don't want that. Let's add back the position absolute. And in order to see them on the screen, let's remove the top minus 20 pixel for now. So they all remain here in this spot. So let's change that. When we are going to create a snowflake, let's play around with the style. 
snowflake style. Oops, no, not now. All right, style left, and let's make it met that random and multiply it by five, for example, and add the pixels. You can see now they're positioned slightly differently. So in order to position it across the width of the screen, we want to multiply instead of five, we want to use the window inner width. So now we're going to get the number from zero to the inner width value. And maybe we can call this function in a set interval. So let's do that. Create no flake and do it every 100 milliseconds. So 10 flakes per second. You can see now the flakes appearing on the screen. But they are not falling, so let's add back the animation. The minus 20 pixels, so it will appear from the top of the screen. Perfect, we made it snow. Every 100 milliseconds we have a new snowflake but you'll start to see slowly that it will run harder and harder because we're creating all these snowflakes but we're not removing them when they reach the bottom. So in order for us to do that, let's create a... First, let's stop it so it won't be laggy. And let's create a set timeout here, which we're going to use to remove the snowflake. So snowflake that remove after I don't know let's say five seconds now we can add back the set interval and it should work perfectly without lagging oops yeah now you can see that here at the half of the screen they are disappearing because we have the animation running for 10 seconds but five seconds we're removing them so let's change that we are going to remove here the animation duration and we're going to dynamically create it here in the function snowflake style animation duration we want a number between let's say two and five seconds five seconds so in order for us to do that we're going to met random which we're going to multiply by 3 and add 2 so basically we have a number from 2 to 3 plus 2 so that's a number between 2 and 5 and append the second at the end so now we can see that the snowflakes have different animation durations, so some fall faster, some are slower, and looks much better now. We can also play with the opacity. So, snowflake style opacity. Let's also make this net that random, which gives us a number from 0 to 1. You can see some are lighter and some are darker. Now we get this effect that some are closer and some are further. And maybe let's play around with the size also. So, snowflake style font size. Because as I said, this is a font and we can play around with the size by changing the font size. And we want a number between 10 and 20. So, to do that, we're going to multiply again, met that random 10 and add 10. And the pixel. Perfect. Look at it. Some are smaller, some are bigger, some have opacity 1, some 0, and they are all over the screen. Maybe we can even do more of them. Let's see. Change 100 milliseconds to 50 milliseconds. This looks really nice. Maybe a nice exercise for you would be to take this project, add maybe some sound at the background, I don't know, maybe add some text, 
whatever you like. That's pretty much it for this tutorial, I hope you liked it, if you did, give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe, so will, you will receive notifications when I upload the next video, and I wish you all the best in the world. Have a good day, bye.